Let's say you or your company built an application a while back, and now you would like to bring it up to snuff and offer features that modern apps have today. For example, you may want to enable voice ordering or mobile app payments, or you may want to make it easy for other developers to integrate into your app. Or maybe you would like to create a unified experience across different lines of business and multiple backend services. In this episode, I will cover how Google's API management tool called Apigee helps organizations create digital experiences for both older backend services, microservices, hybrid or multi-cloud environments, and fully serverless stacks. API stands for Application Programming Interface, and it's like a library of functions that passes information over the web. It defines the inputs and outputs available over HTTP. For example, let's say you are a logistics company and you would like to enable your partners to integrate your package tracking service into their e-commerce website. You then create an API that takes shipment details as inputs and returns a tracking ID in the response. Another API uses the tracking ID to check the status of the package. This now makes your service portable. You can create services not just for partners, but for your customers, employees, vendors, etc. There are two developer audiences that most benefit from an API management tool. There are those that build and manage APIs known as the producers, and those that use the APIs, aka consumers. Now, the challenge to the producer is to design an easy-to-use API, keep developers abreast of changes, and ensure things do not break as functionality evolves. They also have to consider three core design components, such as how will I prevent unauthorized access to keep things secure? How compatible will my services be when working with other platforms and devices? And finally, how can I measure that things are running smoothly? As you can quickly see, that's a lot of layers to consider here. Then there are consumers of APIs who need to easily discover and find the APIs they need, and then quickly understand how to use them. An API is really only useful if it can easily be adopted by other developers. So with these audiences in mind, Apigee helps manage the entire lifecycle of an API. Let me discuss three key pillars. The first is it offers a supportive portal for other developers to discover your APIs, rapidly understand them with the intention that they can build applications with them. The second is monitoring and analytics. These are available so that your API program managers can see which APIs are used most and how. You can also receive alerts when appropriate. The third is the API runtime which executes the policies you configure for security, traffic management, and efficiency of your APIs. What is especially nice is that you can make changes without disrupting users because Apigee is a proxy that isolates the app developer from your backend service. For example, you can change a database implementation, move your services to a new host, or make any other changes to the service implementation. And by maintaining a consistent front-end API, existing client apps will continue to work regardless of how changes occur in the backend. You also create one or more API proxies that map publicly available URLs to your backend services. A proxy is the HTTP endpoint on Apigee that developers use to access your backend services. You can optionally apply policies on a proxy to also add functionality to a service without having to make any changes to the actual backend service, such as data transformations, filtering, conditional logic, custom code, and many other actions. The important thing to remember is that you implement policies on Apigee, not on your backend server. Next, you bundle the API proxies and publish them in an API product. Next, you let your developers know that the API product is available. And once app developers know about the availability of your API product, they can register as an app developer for your API product, create an app to obtain an API key for that API product, and finally, make requests to your services passing the API key with each request. And there you have it a quick walkthrough on how Apigee helps create robust digital experiences by leveraging APIs and having a toolset and portal to manage them. 
If you would like to learn more, this is only episode one of a series of short videos to help you get started. Also in this video's description, we have several helpful links. And friends, if you found this episode helpful, you can click like or subscribe to the channel. Cheers.